Greetings. Hey. Off to a good start. I already kicked you in the head. Hey, listen. I'm trying to, like, do this thing where I solve electrical problems. That's, like, my next new kind of interest. And, um, this, what you see in front of us, is a fan. Now, if you want to, like, work on electric motors and understand electricity, a fan is a great place to start. And, uh, so I kind of, like, uh, try to fix this. <laughs> it was a disaster. It didn't go anywhere. So, what I narrowed it down to was, uh, I believe this has a thermal... I know it does, actually. Mostly, most fans do. This is a... And this is, a like, a fairly high-end fan. I think it just has a thermal capacitor. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, I tried everything, and I couldn't get it to work. The switch works really well, so I harvest some good stuff. I got a capacitor or two from, from it, and um, I think the thermal resistor is what failed. Now, where where is the thermal resistor? I've taken apart fans before. The thermal resistor was like always like somewhere like right here in line. And uh, what does the thermal resistor do? Well, it just checks the temperature and provides resistance based on that. If temperature goes too high, as in like this fan is, this motor is too hot, it'll just like break. And then it'll inhibit any electrical, uh, uh, any electrons from entering into the uh, the system to keep the fan going and cause any overheating and potentially a fire. So that's what thermal resistors do. Uh, at least that's one of the ways that they're used in the fan. That is. So what I did, right? You know, I took this apart, I cleaned it, fixed it, and you know, I checked the windings. The windings, they looked okay. I, I checked for continuity. Because uh, it has two set of windings, that was fine. Um, so, you know, I cleaned out this inside here. It was like kind of thick with grease. Looks like, this was looked like it was in a in a restaurant, uh, well, a Chinese restaurant. Because that's kind of I found it outside on on the street. So, if all else fails, we're just gonna at least get this wire off of here, and we'll get this uh, switch off of here. Let's see if we can use it for something else. So let's pull it. Let's pull it apart, shall we? Okay. So we're, the goal of this video is to try to find a thermal resistor and just a basic dissecting of uh, things. That's pretty brittle. And I saved it just for us, so we can kind of like do this together. I'm having a lot of weird experiences recently with my uh, my neighbors. They are, I mean, people I don't even know. They're like knocking at my door at like 10 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night, seeking me out for like car repairs. So, you know, like I, I'm a, I'm a non-shade tree, shade tree mechanic or shade tree free mechanic and uh, they keep on searching for me you know like if I'm on call or something so it's beginning to get out of control so you can see I already cut some of the uh, shillings on these so I was trying to uh, see if there's a thermal capacitor underneath these It's like uh, as soon as somebody gets wind of uh, your skill set with automobiles, you know, I've been fairly like a recluse, you know, I don't go, just work on stuff. I mean, I'm outside a lot working on things like my friends' cars and stuff. But I avoid uh, engaging with the neighborhood too much. But uh, I started doing it last summer, and then all the floodgates are just open now. People are just hunting me down. Uh, there's some good and bad. The bad is that uh, people have been here on call, you know. I'm not. I have a life of my own. And, uh, the good is people start looking out for me. So I start, like, making sure 
porch pirates don't take my stuff. You know, like things like that. I just like, oh, well, that's nice. See no thermal resistor yet. <laughs> Batting out air. I was uh, under the notion it might be hidden somewhere inside of one of these wires. I've had um, another fan that failed about four years ago. And that's where the thermal resistor was. It was kind of like right there. Now my my thing is, is like uh, the thermal resistor. You know, it, it's like what's the optimal place to place it? Because if it's not on the outside, so you can repair it. You know, um, some people believe that well, it should be wrapped up, silly, inside of the um, windings. So you can check the temperature. Well. That would be annoying because you can't fix it easily. Yeah, I don't know too many people are going to rewind a friggin' like uh, motor. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no thermal resistor there. Alright, so you see what I'm doing? I'm going to be doing this for a while. Just unravel this mess. I'll bring you back when I... Uh, so, I'm sorry. Uh, took some time to take off all these uh, like wires or like... Not wires, but like some sort of hydrocarbon based holding thing. Strap of some sort. And... Um, what I thought I was going to do is, um, you see it right here? What I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, just kind of like cut down right here, cut down like that, and see if there's a thermal fuse like somewhere here. But you can see how that, that kind of like all goes into each one of these poles, posts right here. I don't know, you know let's, let's see what's in there. Right, let's glass. Like it's a uh, Christmas time. Hold your breath. Let's see what's underneath the tree. <clears throat> All right, good. All right, so that's what I was trying to figure out. Like, what is wrapped up in between here? Because all the wires dump into this circuit, like right here. You can see all we have is uh, just a bunch of wires. Now, uh, as I look closer, I can tell you that uh, let's say that got a little hot at one point right here. Yeah, I don't know if that's enough to. Uh, oh, maybe that's it. Is that my thermal resistor? Mm hmm. Interesting. Where did that come from? Where did that come from? I think that's the prize I've been looking for. Absolutely. Right? Okay, but where was it? Ah. Hmm. I'll have to look at the video and see what I can see. But that looks like a thermal resistor right there. Alright, uh, 
let us uh, let us take some time and uh, clean this up. And uh, so that came in from the red. The red was the hot. Oh man, that's interesting. I did not see that anywhere. That looked like that went into the wind-ins. All right. Okay, let's clean that up and uh, see what we get. I'm going to say this is absolutely what we were looking for. This is a thermal resistor. Only reason why I say that is because, like, if you look at the wire in here, uh, this is the hot red here, hot coming in. And then this dumped right to the windings, so it makes sense that you would try to like anticipate any like failure. Well, uh, that's broken off now. Yeah, you would you would anticipate any like um, you know excessive heat build up from the motor here and uh, disable any power coming in. So what did I learn from this? If you narrowed it down to, and I'll back you out a little bit. It was always it was pretty close to being solved. Anyway, I had figured out that this red here, right, was hot coming in. And it's obviously most, it's not obvious, but I'm assuming that just because of what makes sense, you want to stop electricity from coming in. If it overheats, you'd put the thermal resistor where the electricity comes in, which is going to be on this uh, positive side here. So that all I did was follow that and I, and I would eventually have found the thermal resistor that's like uh, you know baked all right well there you go just wanted to make a short video dissecting this and uh, hopefully it'll help you with your diagnostics that's at some point when you try to like do anything with a, a fan okay just remember most fans have newer fans as in newer as in like probably from like the 80s on up have these thermal resistors probably even before that but they're essential because if this fan motor gets overheated it's going to catch on fire and the last thing fan manufacturers want is a whole bunch of houses burning down because of uh you know their fan motor is burning up so when's a good time to try to like uh fix these things summer summertime they're everywhere all over the at least in the city that I live in they're everywhere like people just throw them away because they break and usually what's happening is like they have a lot of hair around the motor you know and you just clean them up and then you have a, a new fan all right great a little long-winded thanks for hanging out I hope to see you next video and uh, thanks for uh, being you and uh, happy 2021 and uh, go buy some stocks GameStop I heard it's doing pretty well anyway Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, like it. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Tell me what you thought about this entire process. And uh, thanks for hanging out, all right? And leave your comments below. Have a great day. And I'll try not to kick you in the head. Hey, I just want to talk about something real quick. When you diagnose these things, right, let's say you did find the thermal capacitor like this. Right. What you can do is, because uh, you know, like this wire was attached to it here, and that dumped right into the uh, windings to power it up. What you could do is is just cut that off, the thermal capacitor, get it out of the uh, system, and just link these two wires together, and then you get power directly to that. Now, I wouldn't recommend running it that way because if it overheats it'll catch on fire this is your fail safe but if you wanted to just properly diagnose it that's what you would do just snip I mean uh, snip that off remove the wires you know braid them together saw them together and that motor would have worked rats I wish I knew but anyway there you go I couldn't find it so now you know